Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dehre Bagga and today I'll be taking you through one of the interesting chess games that I played and now I was playing as black in this and I played the Karukan defense. It was very instructive, I felt and I thought I'll show it to you guys. So let's begin with the game. It started with d4. I responded with c6. Knight f3 by opponent and striking the center d5. Now opponent plays e3. I developed the bishop over to g4, pinning the knight temporarily because of queen behind it. And opponent goes for early c4. Now c4 generally means that opponent wants a pawn break eventually and get the rook on the c file and then continue attacking. So I played e6 just trying to solidify the center so that if my opponent now takes, I can take back with the e-pawn as well. So opponent develops the knight on c3 and I tried to pin the other knight as well by bishop uh, on to b4. Opponent tries to kick that away by playing a3. So I had to take the knight rather than retrieving it and then opponent pushes the pawn forward. I place my bishop backwards. So I'll be just wasting my time moving the bishop only. So I took on the knight. Opponent does take back and then I go with knight d7. Developing my knight. Opponent tries to kick the bishop away. I try to retain the pin for as long as possible. Opponent plays c5 and that is weakening already. Now I went ahead with knight to f6 first and then knight, uh, I played a b6 straight away. Now the idea behind b6 is simple. If you take, I can take back with the knight. I can take back with the pawn. Anything is fine. And then I can proceed with my attack from the queen side because I'll be castling king side and queen side will be opened up. So a lot of activity expected on the queen side. My opponent plays queen to c2 here. Uh, a dubious move, I would say, because that spoils his pawn structure as well. And uh, and then he just followed up with pawn to g4, trying to kick my bishop backwards. And that helps me in a way because once I place my bishop backwards, I'll be hitting the queen as well. So not a good move at all. And here my opponent tries to defend the situation by uh, asking me to exchange the light square bishops. So I did that. Opponent takes back with the queen. Now I have a move pawn forward with to c4, which pushes my open queen backwards again to some square and I'll be gaining the control of the center soon with knight coming to e4 and that would hit a pawn to a pawn c3 as well. So knight over to e4 would be a very tough piece to maneuver from there as well. Yes, knight can go back and then try to exchange but who knows, uh, I can also get my other knight onto f6 connecting both of them so eventually my knight will replace my knight. So this is already better for black and that's why the evaluation bar also says 2.8 in favor of my side. Now queen goes back here and I went with knight e4 trying to gain access to the center. And then a5. I can go with uh, queen f6 as the best move. Uh, but I was thinking if opponent plays king up straight away then he gets a good access to the center as well with the king. He can develop the bishop later. The rooks will be connected. And I don't have any further attack going into hitting the knight, maybe. Uh, maybe there was a move which could have got my knight backwards. Uh, and then my opponent can also take. That's another possibility. So uh, I thought it was a bit tricky, so I didn't went ahead with it. Uh, and here I played a5. Opponent tries to now prevent me from castling by placing the bishop over to a3. Now this controls the f8 square, so I cannot castle. It would be an illegal move. So rook comes onto the open file. Always place your rooks on the open files. That's a simple funda that you should always remember. And now open castles finally. Now that's a weak castle, I would say, because pawns are hanging. Uh, the knight is also pretty much uh, not defended, so can be taken advantage. Now here was one uh, another, another instructive move here. Rook to b3. Now rook b3 does is takes control of the third rank. Now I'm trying to attack the pawn on c3 as well with my rook. And once I take, you cannot take back because knight defends the c3 as well. So this pressurizes the c3 square further. Here my opponent uh, tries to defend that by placing bishop onto b2. And then I just castle first on the king side. 
opponent tries to exchange rooks and i got my queen into the picture as well now queen to b6 so that if opponent takes i have a choice to take with the queen in exchange maybe get my rook behind my uh, pawn and then just push forward uh here my opponent does take best move is to take with the queen but i decided to take with the pawn instead because i wanted this pawn to be a big pain to him in future and i thought this would be a nice way to proceed also i had ideas of pawn break on the c5 leg so that my knight also uh, my second knight also comes into the picture hitting the pawn as well and then suddenly I, i'm pushing both the pawns the rook will also come into the picture defending them so i thought this would be a good position to play from here my opponent plays queen d3 and i went with c5 as my plan was opponent tries to exchange knights here which was the right move but i first played pawn forward which was actually bad i should have first taken on the knight uh, this can be tricky because opponent can take the pawn here first and after if i now decide to take i lose my knight and the center pawn as well so my pawn structure is kind of uh, still okay it is just making sure that the bishop is inactive through the rest of his life whatever is remaining uh, so that's why still black is ahead but i lost a bit of advantage there if my opponent does take but he do doesn't take and uh, so in the uh, in the game opponent goes back with the knight and i after i play pawn forward queen moves back on to e2 i take on the knight opponent does take back and then i just place my queen over to c6 now queen c6 does a couple of things a it hits the bishop it hits the pawn on a4 and then also it prepares the open file for rook to be active also the square b6 can now be attacked with the knight so that i'll be hitting the pawn again with couple of pieces that's what happens opponent tries to defend the pawn and i went with knight to b6 here my opponent tries to play bishop over to a3 and i get my rook over to b8 and in this position my opponent resigns understanding that a lot of threats are coming on his way if he does go to bishop if he does place his bishop backwards which is the best move in the situation as per computer i can take back and opponent cannot take because queen defends it and if he moves the bishop back again it would be bad news so the best move is to do back on, with queen over to c2 now i can choose to take the knight as well that would not even uh, worsen my situation because after queen takes i'm pushing this pawn forward and all i need to do is now exchange the queens and i'll be winning comfortably because of this amazing pawn chain if you see from 7th to 3rd rank all everything is uh, my pawns controlling the light squares and as computer would suggest soon i would say uh, let's see what computer best moves are pawn over here you can go for a pawn break straight away because after opponent does take you go here trying to attack the pawn if tries to save the pawn you take this one and suddenly you are just going to gobble all the pawns of course queen cannot move if queen moves you are just pushing away with the pawn and it would be tough to control it from queening so that is not an option for the opponent opponent can take here but then again i'm coming in with the queen that would be tough to maintain control as well because meanwhile i'll take all the pawns and then eventually i'm going for a queen exchange soon because after a few moves queen here is a winning move as well because after queen takes i take back and opponent has to go back on the last rank and then once he does of course rook can also come in between and then of course not before saving the last rank weakness which can be troublesome so just first defend that and then yeah you can go ahead with the situation maybe move the king maybe push the pawns something can be done out of it definitely and it's completely winning so i hope you like the video do let me know your feedback keep watching and sharing do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already by now and i shall see you again tomorrow with another interesting video of mine thank you so much for your time take care bye bye